Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel in a new video on the survival multiplayer series with Dagoin. Um, so last time we got the uh, canola field harvested, the small canola field, which we're going to turn into a grass field now. Dagoin just started drilling. I will also help him out, I think, to get it done. We also need rolling before we speed up time overnight. But yeah, I'll uh, start drilling this with grass. Get it all done. Follow daggering around the field. Probably the easiest thing to do, it gets in each other's way. And then this will all be a grass field then, one big area of grass which we'll we can use we'll probably harvest. We'll cut some of the grass today actually for um, silage to sell. And it'll also be eventually built on with more productions. We've already got the greenhouses here as you can see. But we will probably be putting some animals on here. Maybe some factory productions, I'm not sure yet. When we can afford it, of course. It's a good flat area, this is quite quite flat anyway, most of it's flat. So it's perfect for building on. Which is what we need, because a lot of this map is not flat. Up there, in that area up there, it's quite a slope. Can't really build on that. That's what we were trying to do last episode. It didn't really work out because it was too hilly, so we had to build this shed actually on the what was the yard area. I think it looks alright that. I think it looks okay. We will probably be putting another shed up as well. Because it's not really big enough for all our equipment, but it's a good start. You have to be careful not to spend all the money on sheds. Because sheds don't really make as money, it's more aesthetics and realism I suppose as well, but yeah, sheds are not essential. Same with the pressure washer, a few people have asked if we're going to get a pressure washer. Yeah, we probably will, but it's not going to make us any money. Having clean equipment doesn't make us any more money, so it's not really essential. Looks like Dagwin might be getting the rolls, possibly. Let's see what he's doing, I'll, I'll continue drilling. Not much more to do anyway now, I can finish this myself, I'm sure. Just getting a few of the bits he missed. Need to make sure it gets rolled though before we speed up time overnight. Just tell him. Don't want to. Uh, yeah, don't, he might have just might have speeded up time overnight before I get a chance to roll it, which I don't want to do because otherwise it will never get rolled. I'll drop the drill back down. Um, where, where's the best place to put the drill? Not sure actually, probably not there. Probably here. I think that's where I got it from. It's a bit of, bit of an awkward area this, so I'm not sure what, what to do with it yet. Maybe if I put it over here, at this angle, so it's more on the edge. It's more out of the way there. Right, pick the rolls up. I'll get that field rolled. Okay, so that's the field all drill. We've skipped time now, so it's already germinated. 
skipped overnight because it was obviously dark. Um, Dagoin's now saved the mowing, so I'm going to use this rake and get it windrowed up into lines ready for bailing. The mower's quite quick, he's got this um, big batwing type mower, big fold-out mower, so it's quite wide. Not technically a mower for making silage with, it's actually more of a topper, but it'll, it works in the game, so it's fine. So he'll soon be done with the mowing, it's only a small area this really. I'll get this all raked, and then I'm sure he'll get the baler and start baling it. Then it'll need wrapping for silage, and then we'll get a bit of money back, and we come sullen. As you can see over there in the distance, the big, the very big um, canola field is now ready to harvest, so that'll be the next job. But as I was saying in the last episode, we won't be able to sell it yet really because the price won't be at its best until um, usually around December I think. So we'll need to store it, so that we also need to build a silo I should think today. Which will be needed, I'm sure it will come in very handy that. A lot of you have been saying, I've seen in the comments, a lot been asking for a silo to be built, so we will be doing that. Very handy things to have. But yeah, for now I'll uh, get on with raking this up, and make the silage. I'll speak to you in a bit. Right, so that's all the uh, grass work done. Just need to wrap the bales now. The silage. Dagwin just bring the trailer over so I can load them straight on. Hopefully this tractor will, will be heavy enough that it doesn't tip over. Let's find out. Yeah, it looks like it can cope all right. See, the smaller Z's tractor couldn't lift this with a bale on without a rear weight on it anyway. This haven't got a rear weight on and it seems to be okay which is good. So these can go on the trailer, they'll probably just stay on the trailer now for a bit until we come to sell them, which will be awesome time, I should imagine. Um, which is drop. I forget, it's been a few weeks since I've used it. <laughs> it's the drop, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. There we go. Yes, yeah, so uh, I'll just get on with loading these up, wrapping and loading them. And then I'm sure we'll be moving on to the canola harvesting. Should be quite a bit of canola in that field, it's a big field. Quite a few of you have suggested that we should split it to two different fields because it is quite a big chunk to do with our smallish equipment now. Uh, especially the combine, it's going to be a bit slow harvesting all that lot. It won't all be done today, that's for sure. But um, yeah, it's uh, probably, probably not a bad idea actually to do that into a couple of different fields for now. It's more efficient to have it in one big field, but I think for keeping it manageable in, in the game, I think probably two smaller fields maybe we'll try. But we'll see how that goes. Anyway, yeah, let's just get the rest of these bells loaded up. to be the one you can trust 
Bell's loaded onto the trailer then. They can just go back to the yard I think for now. Because there's not much point trying to sell them yet because the price isn't that good. Uh, Dagoin you've probably seen over there is side of the harvest. He's gonna be there a while. It's a big job. Just doing the headlands for a start, he'll probably put it on a worker, I think. I should think anyway. It's gonna be a bit of a slow job that. I might take over and do a bit of harvesting as well. But for now. I'll let him go on with that. He's already got the trailer over there, which is already a bit full because I unloaded into it from this field that I did the other day, the last episode. So that's going to need to go into a silo. I'll just put the trailer up here out of the way. It should be okay there. Not quite sure yet what to do with this area. It's on a hill, so we can't build on it. Probably just put the gravel down or something, I would have said. Um, I'll drop this bell wrapper off where I got it from in here. And then let's probably look at building a silo to store the canola. Quite a few people like the idea of putting it over the other side of the bridge near to that field. Uh, so let's go over there and have a look. Tractor's already over there with a the trailer on. Ah, oh, somebody's driven, well it's not me, so <laughs> Dagoin's driven through the field and damaged some of the crop. It certainly wasn't me that. And if you need unloading, probably a good option to unload him if he hasn't already. He may have done. I'll just drive alongside and see if he wants to unload. If not, I'll just leave it here. Okay, he's got his order out. Once we've unloaded then we'll have a look at both at the silo. This might even fill the trailer. We're on 90%. 94% yes. We're not quite going to fill it but... Anyway, I uh, don't want to drive on the field so I'll turn it the other way. Get it into way. Yeah, I'm going to build it now. Yep, so we'll build a silo now. Yeah, Dagoin's saying I think we should build it over here. I think whoever commented first said we should put it here where these trees are on the right hand side. Dagoin, I think, wants to put it over here because, yeah, it's probably a bit easier. No trees in the way now. So, let's look at building a silo. Construction, uh, what would it be under silos? I would have thought. Um, this is a cheap 10,000 for that one. Holds 300,000 litres, that's good. Yeah, that's the one to go for. Um, overlaps with an object, because there's stamps there. I think we may need to remove the stumps. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to remove the stumps first. OK, 
Okay, so we're in the Zeta tractor now with the stump grinder on the back. We'll go back over there, get those stumps removed. It's going to be light on the front end with this stump grinder, quite heavy things, as you can see, <laughs> wheeling across the bridge. Yeah, it should be fine, they're only needing it for a few minutes just to get rid of these stumps. Just need to clear enough urban area so we can put the silo in. I actually might, thinking about it, it's going to be easier to see the stumps if I, if I gravel an area here, so I'll do that first before I do that. Back to construction, landscaping, uh, painting, gravel down. They're all the same price, they're all two pounds per square metre, whatever it is, so um, where should we do it? Bit of a lag there. <laughs> it's working though, I thought it wasn't working for a minute, but it is working, it's just there's a bit of a lag. That's a lot easier to see the stumps now. Not quite sure how big to do it. Right, now I'll get on with the stumps because I can see where they are now. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, so that's the stumps removed, so we should now be able to place the silo, hopefully. So we'll get the silo again, 10,000. Yeah, it's letting us place it now. So, uh, which way around should we do it? Probably that way. Where's the best place to put it? About in the middle, I suppose. There we go. Silo is built. So that looks good. Now we've got somewhere to keep our crops until we're ready to sell them. So it with the canola first. Uh, so I'll, yeah, I'll tip the trailer so Dagger can unload again. Because I bet this is full now. He just unloaded again while I was doing the stumps. So yeah, we've got 12,000 litres in it now. So that definitely needs unloading. And this will be sold in the winter. Unless, of course, we do buy an oil mill, which is not a bad idea. Except it's £80,000. <laughs> Yeah, probably not going to happen anytime soon. But that is a good idea for the future. Where's Dagwin? <laughs> he's not in the field, he's down there. Has he just sold what was in the combine? Maybe I wasn't quick enough building the silo. Hmm. I don't know. He's in the combine, he must have done. Hmm, I think he's probably just been to sell what was in the combine because he had, it was probably a full tank. Yeah, so um, that's a shame in a way, but not too bad. We're still going to save most of it for the best price. Or has he been to repair it? He wants to unload, so maybe he's been just to repair the combine. That would make sense. Yeah, he's got something in the tank, so it's, yeah, that's probably what he was doing, is repairing the combine, I should think. Or refueling it actually. It's another thing. Probably refueling and repairing. I don't know. I missed what he did actually. I wasn't looking at the prices, so I didn't see if it went up or down. I'm sure he was doing something like that. While I think about it, I've also been seeing a lot of comments saying we need to finish this track to the greenhouses, so that's another thing I'll do. While I'm over this area, we'll do that. So, yeah, this track just ends here. So people are saying we should continue it around the greenhouses and obviously all around the greenhouses so we can see where we're unloading the pallets or loading the pallets. So we'll do that. What did I do? Was it gravel this? Right, that one. Right, we'll do that. I know it's not 
prettiest track, but it uh, makes it more functional and it works, it does the job. So we'll have a proper track to the uh, greenhouses now, all the way. And then, yeah, I'll do around the front of them. Try not to go over all the grass I've just drilled. This is quite expensive doing this. But I think it will look better having the proper surface to load on. I suppose I'll do down this side as well. It's not working too well where the pallets are. The stump there. Probably need to remove that. Yeah, these pallets are a bit of a problem, I think. It's not unless we do it just there. Oh well. Anyway, yeah, that looks better. There's a bit, yeah, I don't know what's that's about. That's weird. I'm sure it's done this once before and I can't remember how I fixed it. So do a different. There we go. That's it. Try that over here then. So yeah, that that's just weird. I don't know why it does that. There we go. It's all done now. So hopefully that'll make everyone happy that was complaining about... Oh, Darwin's over here now doing some spreading. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone that's complained that it wasn't finished off properly, uh, I hope you're happy with that. Or it's at least an improvement. Got proper road to the greenhouses now. All the way. Looks a lot neater now. And obviously, yeah, all one big grass field now as well. So that's good. Looking good. Right, so back with the combine. It's on a helper now. I'll just unload it. Make sure it keeps going. Or I might take over on the combine. Because obviously helpers cost a bit of money, so we want to be saving as much money as we can. If I drive it, it's free. Apart from my time. So what I'm thinking, maybe if we harvest half the field, then we can drill that bit with one crop, and then we'll drill the other half of the field with a different crop, maybe? I don't know. So that it's not all one big field. I'm a bit undecided about that, really. I'm not quite sure what's best. I think it's more efficient to have one just one big field. But obviously with such a small combine, it is going to take a while to harvest it. And the drills and everything as well. But we've got two drills, so if we're both drilling, it wouldn't take too long. Um, yeah, not sure. But what I'll do, I think I'll, I'll take over on the combine. I'll do the other side there. I'm with that now.
well we've made some pretty good progress with this field now I've been doing quite a bit of harvesting got over half of it done I'm just going to unload the combine again and take this to the silo that'll probably be it for today now Dagwin just left so oops <laughs> that's lower than I thought yeah we'll just get the trailer on this and uh, unload it yes Dagwin just finished doing his uh, bit of mulching he was doing um, he didn't actually, I don't think, need to buy that mulch because he can actually mulch with that mower. We've got the green John Deere mower that he was using earlier. Convert that to a mulcher. I think you have to pay a little bit, but it would have been cheaper than buying another machine, but never mind. He's bought it now, so yeah, he's, at least it'll improve the yield a bit. I don't think mulching improves it massively though. It's a slight increase, but it's not amazing. Um, last time I drove to the silo, unfortunately, I suffered a massive lag spike. One minute I wasn't moving at all, then I'd shot through the crop and I've slightly damaged it there, which is a shame. It's hopefully not taking too much of the crop off, but with not too much money anyway, but yeah, a bit of a shame that. It's the issue with multiplayer, you do get these weird lag spikes, I don't know why. Probably not everyone does, but I do with my internet. <laughs> it's not brilliant. Um, but yeah, I think we'll, we'll probably finish off this harvest next time. It's a bit too much to manage in one day. I've actually done more than I thought it would today. Wasn't expecting to get even half the field done, so we've managed to get, I would say, over half. It's more than half done, so that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I think, I think we'll leave it there today now. Um, see you again in the next one. I hope you've enjoyed it today. Thanks for watching.